thank you. You look familiar to me. Uh, yeah, I created a film called Cemetery Park. Uh, it's a documentary film. Uh, it's actually making its world premiere here at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. And the film is about exposing the, uh, the wrongs of the city of Ventura in the 1960s when they demolished three pioneer cemeteries uh, to create a $12,000 transformation to a viewpoint. Thank you so much. Please tell us your name and the name of the film again. It's Cemetery Park, but your name again. My name is Brandon Alvis. Brandon Alvis. Um, I've lived in Ventura now for on and off part-time for about, oh, nine or ten years. I think I know exactly where it's Grant Park, right? No, it's actually uh, it's referred to as Cemetery Park on uh, Main Street. Uh, Main Street and Poli Street. It's about Midtown, Ventura. Oh, that's is that the dog park now? That's correct. That's correct. Yeah, it's a dog park now, yeah. Was that a veteran cemetery? Oh, that actually was three pioneer cemeteries, a Catholic section, a Protestant section, and a Jewish section. There was also Taoists buried there as well as Native Americans. And uh, in the 1960s, the city of Ventura illegally uh, turned that dog, or excuse me, turned that cemetery into a dog park. Oh my goodness. And do you know what they did with all the, the bodies? The bodies are still there, actually, all 3,000 of them. Uh, so that's what makes it even more interesting. But uh, uh, through a Freedom of Information Act and the work with Stephen Schlater that I've uh, done, uh, we were able to go through thousands and thousands of documents and show what the city did uh, as being uh, not only morally wrong, but highly illegal as well. Why did you think about doing this? Or how did, how, how did this idea come to mind that you needed to and wanted to expose this? Well, I moved to Ventura, California about five years ago, and I actually moved next to Cemetery Park. And I heard a lot of oral legend about the city uh, demolishing a cemetery and that all the bodies were still there. Uh, of course, you hear a lot of legends, a lot of myths, uh, but when I actually started looking into it, I found Stephen Schlater and seeing his 15-year fight with the city, um, he started to provide me a lot of information, factual documentation, uh, through a Freedom of Information Act that were actual documents from the city that proved what happened was, was uh, really what it was. Is this a gentleman to your right here? No, he's no. actually down here. He's going to be coming through shortly, I believe. Okay. Well, thank you very much. It's a very important film, and it's local, folks. So those of you here in the Ventura and Santa Barbara area will really appreciate this. Tell me again, if you haven't, what theater and what day and time it'll be showing? It'll be on Tuesday uh, at the Metro 4 Theater at 8.20 p.m., and then on Wednesday at the Metro 4 as well at 6 p.m. Outstanding. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You.